remember what the haters talking about. Yeah. What's up, family? Jeannie Ma and Amanda Seals got into a heated discussion about Jesse Smollett, who was recently indicted on six counts of making a false police report. Jesse, last year, staged what police believed to be a hoax in claiming that a couple of white men wearing MAGA hats attacked him in the middle of the night on a cold Chicago street. He said that they tied a rope around his neck and they threw bleach on him. Of course, this sounded very, very far-fetched. I never believed the story from the beginning. But fast forward, Cook County State Attorney Kim Fox recused herself from the case because of her conflict of interest in being a friend of Jesse Smilett's family. Jesse's uh, charges were subsequently dropped. Many people claim nepotism. They said the only reason why prosecutors dropped the case is because Jesse got favor from his association and friendship with Kim Fox. So the new prosecutor picks up the case, a special prosecutor actually, picks up the case and hits Jesse with six new charges. And some people are going like, yeah, 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 about time. And other people are claiming that this is a political stunt brought on by the fact that Kim Fox is up for re-election and they want her out. They're saying this is all political. Jeannie Ma says that she believes that Jesse should get about three years in prison if it's found true that he did orchestrate this stunt. And she said, if not, he should be let go. She said, the reason why she's so passionate about this is because she has gay friends. As you know, Jesse Smollett is a gay black male. She says she has gay friends who have been attacked and who are no longer with us because of their sexuality. And, you know, she's very passionate about this whole case. She feels like Jesse was wrong and he needs to be punished. So her focus seems to be the impact that Jesse Smollett's sexual orientation might have on other gay and lesbian people. Now, Amanda Seals is championing the black cause. She's looking at it like from a black male perspective, she's saying that black men are constantly targeted and that white people make false claims to the police all the time and nothing happens to them. They don't even get a slap on the wrist, but she felt like that if anything, if Jesse, if Jesse is found to be guilty of this, he should receive a slap on the wrist like white people get when they lie all the time on black people. She brought up the case of the woman who lied and said Emmett Till whistled at her. And Emmett Till was subsequently murdered. This woman is still alive, going about her business. Never received a slap on the wrist or nothing. I think Amanda had the majority of the audience until she said that what Jussie did was noble. <laughs> well, when she said that, I was like, it's noble. <laughs> These are things that you say in private. You don't allow things like this to come out publicly. But Amanda Seals is a very passionate person and, hey, 
she is going to say things that is going to offend people from time to time because she's going to say what comes to her mind. Like, if she think it, she'll probably say it. <laughs> but anyway, family, what do y'all think about this? If Jesse is found to be guilty as charged, what type of punishment do you believe is deserving? Probation? 30 days county jail? Six months? A year in prison? Three years? 10? 20? Life sentence, huh? Some of y'all thinking the death penalty. <laughs> Don't worry about it. I understand. That's the bias in you. Chicago police ain't fooling nobody. They are notoriously corrupt. They care nothing about justice. What they care about is making sure they stick it to the black man and making sure that a black woman does not use her power to give a black man a break. That's what it's about. No more talk. What the ladies talking about?